Hey guys, welcome to Horrible Decisions, bitches. I'm your girl, Mandy B. Hi, I'm Wheezy, and we never really have dogs or kitties in the studio, but today, <laughs> in the first episode, I don't know if you guys know, I was pregnant. It was a really quick thing. Oh my God. <laughs> um, he was a mutt, so am I. So this is Dina Simone, if you're watching on YouTube. I'm a dog, I'm a bitch, I'm a mother. <laughs> and um, you know, it's giving, she's coming everywhere. The Louis Vuitton dog collar has been ordered. Um, I want to push gift. So, you know what that is? Yeah. You ain't push that motherfucker out your coochie. Well, bitch, you ain't getting a goddamn motherfucking thing. Yves Saint Laurent is too big. Oh, Nina, don't be rejecting me while I'm talking about you. <laughs> but uh, the YSL bag is too big. So, I don't know. One of these niggas better get me something to put her in. Mm. But, and we also have a kitty on set. A kitty. And they're getting along. That's the crazy <laughs> part. Yes. We've had a guest uh, in the studio that we... I feel like we've been talking about having you on for months. For a, we've been talking... Yeah. Back in fire. Maybe... Yeah. Maybe your team, they were like, uh, yeah, we need y'all to meet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you, be you, you be giving sex, y'all. I do, you know. So, but. guys, we have Chinese Kitty uh, joining us today. Some of you guys may be familiar with her. She was on Love & Hip Hop, and she is also a rapper. She's one of the rap girls out here in these motherfucking streets period. doing what she do. Yes, Come on, period. I, I got to tell you, so one of my good friends, and he works on my TV show, his name is Miko. Shout out to Miko. I said, yo, I don't want to have nobody problematic on her. Her name's Chinese Kitty. Is this good for you? And he was like, oh, yeah. Like, she's actually Asian. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently, like, there's so many, like, people that are that naming claim, those. Yeah. 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 So we like, because Asian know. doll ain't Asian, right? Oh, wait. We can't really be sitting here talking shit about people, right? But I mean, I, I understand Because also, light skin like... Keisha ain't light skin. So I just oh, like that. I'm sorry. I girl. just like that your name match you. What, girl? Yeah, 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 My bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, good but you know what's crazy? I mean, Wheezy has... She wheezes. Yeah. She's asthmatic. <laughs> okay, Make it make I'm sense, dead. you know? <laughs> nah, yes, I am Chinese. My last name is Hing. My real oh. name. Oh, shit. So. You know. I, you know, I am not going to say nothing past that because <laughs> I just don't want to sound My favorite crazy. plant shop is the Hing. Maybe they own it, girl. Ah, I'm dead. <laughs> every in the every family, Chinese hein? restaurant would be like, hang this, hang that. I'd be like... It's like a Gonzalez. Do you speak uh, Cantonese? No. No? Mm -mm. It is like one of just the... That it, Cantonese is the language, right? Oh, is Mandarin... Oh, Mandarin the, is the main one, though, but right? But can't you speak Chinese, too? Chinese ain't a language. Oh, it's, wait, it's Chinese... <laughs> Wait, is Chinese a language? No, no, because Vietnamese is and Japanese like, is. You got, you got two different like. Dialects. It's Cantonese and Mandarin, right? Excuse uh -uh, me, uh -huh, if I'm ahead. tripping here. Go ahead, bitch. <laughs> yep, you telling me you can't speak Chinese? No, it's Mandarin or Cantonese. Yeah, it's like two different languages. Y'all stop <laughs> playing me. Because no, when people, I love that this is you saying it and not me, bitch. Yeah, when people, I love it. When people say like, "Do you speak Jewish?" I'd be like, "That sound dumb." But you telling me? Wait, what's the Jewish language? Hebrew. Oh, you so knew that. You speak King, Hebrew, so Hebrew ain't the religion. Okay, I don't know. Why do we be doing this? I just don't be. Knowing I feel like I just said, "Do you speak Puerto Rican?" I feel yeah, really that's dumb. You, that's how you. That's exactly what you just said. But hold on. But when I open my Chinese spot, they be teaching you. I'm serious. <laughs> this isn't problem. This is me being serious, bitch. Teach me. When I open a little thing, it will have a word and it'll show me English and Chinese. Mm -hmm. So you telling me? That's not fucking. But it'll be like a certain kind. Like it might be like a like a general thing that everybody could speak. Oh, okay. She still like, ain't learned shit. You ain't <laughs> tell oh, okay. her nothing. Well, let's just get to something else. <laughs> well, I want to get into the icebreakers just so we can break the ice with you just a little bit. All right. So that the listeners can get to know you. We can gauge how freaky you are or not. We can gauge. I mean, we got to gauge it. No, like, because it let's can get, get really it. inappropriate here. Okay. So icebreaker question number one. You've been dating a guy for four months and you really like him, but you haven't had sex yet. Mm. You finally decide it's time and the sex is awful. What do you do? I don't know. <laughs> you give him a second chance. I would definitely give a second chance. Okay. And then if I it's bad go, again, would... then what? It's got to go. You, it... So sex is important. Yes. Sex is very important. Are you a size queen too? Not really. Really? You like little dudes? I am. No, I no. don't. No, <laughs> but hell that's what you no. just but said. Hell no. It's medium hell you'll no. take. Hell no. But like, <laughs> I, I'm like one of them girls. I could take workable. Like, I, you What's don't got to be like 10 inches, like nine inches, like going crazy. But like, but you seven need eight. <laughs> Girl, that's still a lot. <laughs> Ain't the average dick size like 6.25 inches? Okay. All right. Like, now I could, I could work with an average. I can't. What's average to you? Like what she just said. 
Ever, so you could work with six inches? I don't know. I don't know. That's don't nice know. of you. That, not that that's nice, nice of her. you. I, I don't like, know. You, I, <laughs> they, no, you, it's so awkward because I got my manager and my uh, stylist looking girl, at me. Girl, they, they know, know that you fuck? <laughs> What's the lyrics <laughs> given? <laughs> Yo, no, exactly. Okay. Actually, to be fair, I was thinking back. We interviewed the city girls in Atlanta, and I asked one of them about what kind of porn they watch. She was like, "Oh my god!" And I was like, "Girl, if we could go back <laughs> to your lyrics." <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It's, it does make me shy, like when certain people are in the room and I'm talking. It depends if it's my sex life. Like I could talk about mom, sex. Like if your mom in the room, you just say whatever. I oh no, my mom ain't shit. <laughs> I was but, cranky one time. It was like Thanksgiving, and I was like, "Bitch, I ain't had dick in a while. I, I'm crazy. I will, I will be back. Here's the remote. Find the channels. I'm going to get some dick down the street. That's when I was fucking with Felon Bay. Okay. Yeah, that's why she even ended up meeting the nigga. I was like, "Hey, this is Felon Bay." Like he wants some turkey? Nah, no, Felon Bay. Felon Bay. I'm, he was a felon. Wait, I, you don't have a nickname for your dude? <laughs> I don't, but I'm I'm about to. Yeah, you gotta make nicknames Dickhead for your boo. One, Dickhead Head number two, <laughs> like them type of names for sure. Okay, next one. It's a would you rather? Would you rather only have sex in a bed forever, or only have sex outside the bedroom forever? The bed. Me too. The I bed. Ain't you. Me too. The bed. That would me annoy too. me. The couch is fun, but no, I like to roll over and go to yeah, sleep. Yeah, no, the way, the way my couch is giving Wayfair, <laughs> I'm scared to do anything on my little ass couch. Nah, because the bed is just more comfortable, relaxing. It's cute to be spontaneous. Like, you want to do, do some wild shit in the car, this and the third. It's giving every once in a while. But the bed is... And you don't even really come hard in those situations. It's just no, like the it's novelty. Just, it's the experience. It. That's it. Where? What's your second room in the bedroom? To have sex. Like the second. Other than the bedroom. Other season. than the bedroom. Oh, like the couch or the kitchen. Kitchen. Mm-hmm. I do okay. like countertop. All right, sex. guys, yeah. never eat at Chinese Kitty's house. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, you might want a black light. I test. mean, you might be I, eating I, I, <laughs> You might be eating some nuts, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's giving. <laughs> Yo, I'm dead. No, but. seriously, I actually just fucked on my balcony and it was yeah. great. Balcony it was, sex is great. It was giving and like the... It, you know, New York, we really ain't had a summer this summer, so it was giving 72 degrees outside. I was like, this is it. I haven't had sex uh, on my own balconies, like even living there, like just like a dick suck, and I'd be like, all right, I'm horny now. But I do love a hotel balcony. Yeah. I just love hotel Somewhere you sex. know you don't, you don't got to see your neighbors if yeah. you again, you know? Be like, just, yeah, just, I do just see just the pool hotel. waiter. Yeah. A whole hotel. That'd be fire. I like to make it messy. Like, there's stuff where I'd be like, uh-uh, not on my bed. Uh-uh. My most trifling hotel balcony trifling. sex <laughs> was I had a, a, a flight delay. I was with someone. We were traveling internationally. And you know how the inside airport hotels, they be surrounded? Oh, wow. But we got lit Trifling. because Delta Trifling. was like, damn, girl, we're sorry. We'll give you drink credit. So oh, wow. I was so. like, fuck them. Yeah, CTSA. Yo, I'm I'm bad. Well, shout out to Delta and not the COVID variant. <laughs> <laughs> um, last one. What is the first thing? Weezy, I want to ask you this, too. What is the first thing you would do if you woke up one day as the opposite sex? Mm. So what if you woke up one day and had a dick? And would it be big? <sighs> Gotta get my dick sucked. Yeah, I want to know what that feels like. Me too. too. Look, not your face, girl. <laughs> you don't want to know what it, what a dick suck feel like. Because I want to know, do niggas really be feeling teeth? Okay, first off, yes, girl. You have an overbite. They feel it. Oh my god. I don't. I, <laughs> I, I be feeling what like I gotta do. <laughs> What? Oh, you wasn't ready. You didn't. You didn't know. Oh, I think I'm, I'm warming and these up. Are just the I'm warming breaker. up. Let me get up. Okay, so so what you want to do if you woke up one day with a dick? I don't know. I don't know. The first thing that get some money. I don't know. Pee. Get some money. <laughs> I no. want to know why niggas play bitches so much and it's in the third. Girl, like, what oh. you going through today? You said <laughs> you said dickhead <laughs> number one, <laughs> shithead <laughs> number two. <laughs> you just popped the Advil. <laughs> then you said I want to know why they play it. <laughs> It's okay. What did he do? Yeah, what did he do, girl? Go ahead and tell the world. What did he do? Or they do. Somebody pissed you off. Somebody pissed me off a thousand times. Like, you know, just dating for me is like too much insecurities. Like, okay. And I'm just getting accused every day. Has it Left been since life. you've been like popping or like you always feel like this? No, since I've been, yeah, popping. Like, so, what are you being accused of? Because you got shithead one and two. So things. do you have multiple men and they just no. can't handle you having multiple nah, men? And nah, oh, okay. nah. Mm -mm. Just one, just too much. Too so what is, it, when you, what, what is it? Is it thinking that you're seeing other people when you're out of town? Like, 
that well, just like, yeah, accusing that. every little thing. Like even an interview, I might say one or two things, and it'd be like, oh, that's how you giving it up. That's how you like I, that shit. Is oh yeah, hard. no sis, it's it's saying break up to me. <laughs> it's definitely saying <laughs> that's that. what it's giving. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving that it's needs the one. <laughs> psycho. It's, it's you giving. only gonna get bigger. What's he gonna it, do? It, it only gets worse. Go. Trust me, we be on here talking about sucking dick, and he be mm -hmm. like, damn babe, why you telling me you ate my ass? Bro, let I me tell like, you something though. What you want me to do? I really feel like sometimes when you're fucking with a bitch like that, like you really can't win. Look at ASAP. Lit. Been in the game for years. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, you found out your bitch a billionaire. Like, mm -hmm. what can you... There's nothing you can do. <laughs> but when they be go, mad, though. They really be sitting... They be acting cool, but niggas don't like that. They don't like, like what part? They just don't like a woman being more overpowerful than them. And them feeling yeah. like the... When I walk in a room, everybody's checking for Rihanna, and then I just become, oh, what's up, Rocky? You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, And I'm not saying they situation, because they might be living beautifully, but I hope that's so. how a lot of situations be. Yeah. I mean, I just think that men, and we can blame patriarchy for it, I do just think that they want to be number one. They want to be mm -hmm. the alpha, mm -hmm. and when a woman has success or is more popular, that alpha... A uh, thing in their mind kind of gets checked a little bit. No, it, where they feel like they're now the submissive. They feel like. Have you beloved. noticed, like, when you're out to eat? Well, it really, I mean, we're not like. I don't know. I mean, I would assume you're way more recognizable, right? Podcasting is a niche, but you know when you're out to eat at a certain spot and like people can't stop coming up to you. Yeah. Last mm -hmm. night I was eating in the Lower East Side by Lap, which is a black bar in New York. I say maybe four people came up to me while we were eating dinner, mm. and I think, and I get we were eating, but I. And they weren't rude. They'd just be like, oh, what up? Love the show. But I feel like there was this moment where he looked at me and he was just like, bitch, like, fuck you. Like, a little pissed off. A jealous. Little jelly. And jealous. I don't think okay. they can help jealous. it. But mainly it's because, like, it gotta be a little emasculating, whether it be money, popularity. And I'm not saying this is like podcaster, like, rapper shit. This could be like influencer shit. Like, it's, yeah. TikTokers, mm -hmm. like, how good does it feel that people? I mean, are or like, it could be if we if we talk about casual people, it could be your CEO and your man is just a regular employee. Like, there's yeah. also different levels to it, even even uh, just across the board. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that you have to date your equal? Like, do you prefer to date industry dudes? I or? thought that it would be it would be easier for me to just date low key, but I'm starting to realize that they can't handle. It, like at all mm -hmm. everything is a question everything is so you was next to this and the person he ain't tried to talk to you no i'm chilling i only worry about you and they just don't okay i'm it. not gonna lie i love telling them like let me tell you you're trying to fight why <laughs> you toxic no she is she's toxic yeah and it should be because, like i don't know but why. i wanted you <laughs> girl let me tell you how i knew this nigga I, I had to prove my point i went to that lobos party the one lebron almost got suspended for Fucking Drake, all these niggas, like just like fine ass basketball playing niggas, niggas that don't want to fuck me. They had Instagram girls there, um, but <laughs> I remember like I left the party early, and he was like, "Yo, I cannot believe you fucking left this shit to come get some dick." And I was like, "Yo, but like yeah, they... when you're in this world, like what am I gonna do? Am I gonna try to fuck every rapper? Like am I gonna try to like at the same time, you know how that'll make you look? Mm -hmm. But outside of that." Women don't like new dick like that. Like, I don't know about... That's like, a great point. Me, women do not like new dick. I know men love saying ain't nothing better than new pussy, mm -hmm. but we hate to go into mm -hmm. the unknown. Mm -hmm. And new dick <laughs> is that. Mm -hmm. Like, if I know I'm finna come, can I go... Let me just go to the one that I know I'm finna have fun with. Yeah. Like, that's probably where we, you know, unfortunately get stuck with... Fuck, Chad, fuck you with know what? You know, it's you're right. true. You it's it's really true, because it, sharing your energy with everybody is just... Like, you know what I'm saying? You then you got to gotta deal with, moon. is that nigga going to call me? Look. Is he going back to his baby moms? Like, you know what I'm saying? Nobody want to deal with all that. So it's yeah. like, or sometimes you just want to fuck and keep it pushing. But not like me, like people. So I can't just go call a nigga and be like, yeah, what you doing tonight? Then that nigga tell this person, this person. You know what I'm saying? So it's harder for me. So I know that's right. That's why I ain't fucking no podcasters. They be talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> they do. All right. Well, we're going to get into our vanilla shit. For those of you tuning in for the first time, because you like, oh, let me let me listen to Chinese Kitty talk about second dick. We oh. are going to get to <laughs> the... Uh, do you niggas like your nails when you suck dick? Here you go. I knew I think so. Bro, I, 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 they look good. Ones. The glow in the dark ones. Yes, I was looking at you. They glow in the so dark. <laughs> I literally, I just, I've been gay a long time. I'm gay too. And then even though I started, like, I'm dating a man again, like, I just feel like I can't go back to nails. I ain't gonna hold you. We record, 
So my ex, my partner, my current, my boyfriend, he's not my boyfriend, but whoever he is that I'm fucking with. It sounds like y'all both a got situation. the same shit yeah. going on. A but it ain't a situation ship. I just don't want y'all in my motherfucking business no more. God damn it. Mm. it. It is getting better, though. At least they're not walking up asking if he's another nigga's name. Like, there's no more <laughs> assuming he's 24-7. Okay, good. It's like, that's, that's cute. Um, but no, like, we recorded the last time we had sex. And I was like, babe, mm. you got to see how good this looks. Mm. I said, this is like an accessory for your dick. And I like literally posed my hands around his dick and it's beautiful. I'll show you it. Uh, uh, do you but, take sex tapes now that you know they could be like? Oh no, only him, bitch. Him and my nails. No, I'm asking him. Oh. Um, I like to. Me too. Okay. I like to. But are you worried that like, bitch, it's I got, got a podcast be, and I'm scared. So I know you scared. Yeah, but it's got to be somebody like. Yeah. They got I something know. to lose. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have tattoos I was like just all over your body? I have like spot tattoos, like one right here, here. Okay, here. One right on the titty. Right there. Fuck. You will, you gonna see. It. You don't have any on your back. I got here, and I got a dragon. Oh, never mind. You nope. got a dragon on by your dragon. by your ass. Yeah, can't even butt. get ass. You can't even get it from the back on video. Just give me my pussy and take that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right, well, the vanilla shit for this week comes from Mirror.co. This is some European shit, y'all, okay? Because they don't have it here. We have Rolling Loud and all these other things. But in Europe, they have swingers festivals. And a sleepy village was disrupted by screaming and moaning from a swingers festival. So around 400 tickets were sold for the Swingathon Festival, which took place close to some towns that I don't know how to read. Um... <laughs> Oasby near Grantham, Lincolnshire. I know Lincolnshire <laughs> is right. Um, with the events including wet t-shirt competitions and fetish demonstrations. Villagers complained about the screaming and moaning noises coming from the festival over the weekend. And neighbors who live near the fields where the four-day swing a thong event took place said their rural peace was shattered by wails and groans. Wails? Wails. Oh, uh-uh, don't do this. I was looking at the picture. I saw water in the back, man. I know, bitch, not those okay. whales. Whales is in, uh, I get that's it. a whale, right? What's, what's, uh, what? No, what? I can't, I can't whale. Do you moan? Do you whale? <laughs> Chinese. Do you whale? Oh my God. <laughs> what? I do want to, I do want to hear how you moan. What? No, I'm not doing no, that. you don't know moan. Are you a talker? You know, yeah, do you talk? Um, it just depends on the sex. Have like, your neighbors like, ever... Like banged yes. on your door because you was being too loud. Yes. Were they like I, so? I his name is Dickhead. I had to fight the next door neighbor. That ass. She was wilding. Wait, no, it wait, was wait, one wait, time. Okay, wait, no, it was right. one time. I was we was just minding our business, doing whatever, and boom. So we was like, okay, we gonna calm down, you know, like all right. Then she started like I don't know. She took a broom or something. Would literally like, what the fuck? Shut the fuck. Wait, up. what time? What time was it, girl? Like three o'clock in the afternoon, oh. like regular shit, like not, not regular shit. <laughs> no, she was wilding. I literally was like, I'm about to knock on her door. Like, are you okay? Are you not getting? Dick? Did you I'm come confused. first or did you? I yeah, we sick. finished, but it was ridiculous. <laughs> I had to tape her. Like, it was so bad. I had to really tape her screaming. Like, shut the fuck up. Oh, you? I think she had this. enough. No, I think she had enough because I was, I was regular. Maybe she was hating. That's. I think Maybe. it was like two weeks. I was hating on a, back a to hotel. Back she was like, no, you didn't. Yes, I was, bitch. I was at the fucking uh, the Ritz in Atlanta, and I was already mad because they didn't have Netflix on the TV. <laughs> and the bitch, I am sorry. You you go to hotels out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When they ain't got the fucking streaming on the TV. Okay. Oh yeah, that's that's. And they you, were, when I tell you your complaints about your bougie ass hotel stay. Oh, I'm a snob. If honey. they don't have. She, like we went uh we were on tour and we went uh, to boston what no if <laughs> no 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 room service like uh, the restaurant closes at 10 <laughs> uh, like they didn't even have water on my like no she really we even went to jamaica Tropical weather. Oh no, she complained bitch. That about, was tacky. She complained about the heat, bitch. No, no I didn't. Man. That was me. That you was me and where? my stylist going to the Bahamas. Yo, <laughs> listen, we had this beautiful ass resort, and then we got to the airport late, and they want to have those like those things where if you miss your flight, it's only one flight, so you got to get on the next day. Okay. Right. So I tried to book back at the same place. They were saying it's like a three night minimum, so we had to find some random. Hotel. It was a three night. You couldn't even stay and you already stayed there? Exactly. Nah, oh, it was wow. like, sorry. So we had to find some random hotel. Yo. 
<laughs> look at this. Yo, look at the face. How we bad was it? literally chose. We was like, I don't care what. We're not going back in, in the house until 7 in the morning because I'm not sleeping in a hotel. Oh, like, my God. No, for real. That's exactly what we did. Like, as soon as we got home, go straight to sleep for an hour, pack up bags, go straight back to the airport. Because The only time that's creepy. happened to me, I was in Cambodia. And I mean, it's Cambodia, bitch. There wasn't many <laughs> options. Well, what Third world. I mean, here? listen, we stayed at like a hostel and e even that too, the fact that it was giving hostel, like me and my, my two homegirls, we literally took a shower with flip flops on oh my and God. kept the flip flops in the hotel. Cause we were like, we got a shower. Cambodia was hot as fuck. It was like 98 degrees. And I'm not talking about the boy band. Bitch, it was hot as fuck. <laughs> and a bitch had to like keep her her like we we all kept our flip flops. What's on your like? Crazy. What's your hotel? Like, what's the company you have to do? Like, I like W's, SLS. That's my shit. Mm -hmm. I do too. Um, I love a boutique hotel. Yeah, I don't. I like I like the big old massive ones. Oh, like a JW? I like a, I, I just like a big old hotel. I don't mm -hmm. like the little boutique ones. Chad, I stayed at a Marriott in Atlanta. <laughs> and there was a bullet under my bed? Yeah. No, there wasn't. Yeah. On my no, mother's no, life. No, no, no. That shit is that. Mm -mm, I was Wait, scared. Wait, what? On my oh mother's my life, ask Vinny. Vinny was like, and this is for when I had to go. <laughs> you didn't do touch a show. It, did you? No, I ain't touch it. I oh, said, you... bitch, we going to jail. <laughs> he looked at the bed. He said, oh. Yo, went downstairs, told them. No reaction. This is how I know it was some Atlanta shit. Nah, she I was think like, I stayed oh, there too. And I was like, I dead ass told my manager, like, don't you ever, like, Why ever. Is it Bro, Ever. you could be in the nicest shit in Atlanta, and it's still, yes, of course, ratchet. I mean, you know, they stealing cords and shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna get into now our hors d'oeuvre. Our hors d'oeuvre is this is where we need the sex tip from you. But I found one, so I want to give um, some things, especially since we already talked about the nails. Uh, for this one, it is how to give a better hand job from Vice. I would like mm -hmm. also maybe y'all's advice on hand jobs, but it, the first. Turn it. It, the first advice also says to get into a hot position. A hand job is definitely a long-standing classic within the sex where at least one person has a penis repertoire, but exactly how you engage in one can add a little novelty. Depending on your flexibility, wrist mobility, and overall comfort making eye contact with your partner, there are also a few positions that you can reconfigure your usual hand job. Hop? Is that what you said? Like a what? What I saying? A hop position? What's that? I didn't say a hop position. Oh, there are a few positions that can reconfigure your usual usual hand job. Oh, I thought you said get into a something position. Go ahead. No, uh, so there's face to face positions where that's the so one like, I like, where you sit in between their legs and you just look. That's at them. my favorite. That I think that's my favorite. Because like, then you're just giving like hand jobs. Or are you talking about head? I be sucking dick. I mean both. I mean I ain't gonna hold you, bitch. You gotta use the hands because my mouth. That's is what tired. I'm saying. But that's it's giving head because it's I. A hand job is just this. Yeah, maybe we give a head, bitch. Yeah, no, I. That's, I be giving it. When I wake up in the morning, the bitch just be like, "Oh, really? I, I wake up to him with a hand job." No one said coming from a hand job. Oh. It's just the act of a hand job. I, I can't mean, even I do that. Oh, like, wake hand? it up, like you know, wake it up a little. Nah, you be waking it up. So let me oh, say, no, let me I tell you something about baby. No, she confuses a lot of shit together. What I be confusing? <laughs> I'm gonna give you the first one and what? the one that I feel like makes the whole point. What? Mandy wasn't getting dick for like two, three months. I sure right? wasn't. I was and abstinent. She, the bitch said, after it hit two, three months, even though she was mad about it, she said she was abstinent <laughs> and celibate. I and I was like, but girl, yay. that's by choice. Well, whatever it is, I ain't been fucking. <laughs> and told everybody she was celibate. I was. Mind you, uh, a shout out to Liz Goldwyn from the sex ed. One of our friends was like, oh, and I... She, I'm so sorry. She goes, I want to interview you guys for my final episode. And isn't Mandy, she's celibate, right? Mm -hmm. I said yes. I if you don't have sex, you celibate. She wanted to talk celibate. to the girl about celibacy. And all I could think of is Mandy getting up there and being like, well. I was celibate. How? Because I wasn't having sex. Why? That is but what's the Mandy? difference? Like, you, so what is the difference, Weezy? Okay. Celibacy is when you're holding out. I was. No, you wasn't. Because you know, you just okay. me the nigga. No, no. So here's the thing. You know when you. Okay. No, here's the thing. You know when you don't have sex for a long time. Yeah. The last thing you want to do is okay. either a up, go back to, to a fuck nigga who ain't deserving of it. Yeah. Or have sex with someone new and then it's bad because then you're really pissed. Oh, celibacy, like, sorry, is abstaining from marriage and sexual relations. Yes, yeah, like waiting. that's for what me. I was doing. I was abstaining. I, I, I wasn't getting married and a bitch wasn't <laughs> and a bitch wasn't having sex. No, but like you're I fucking out. Wait, what? Anyway. 
I'm Anywho. <laughs> Anywho. You just was going through a dry spell, ho. <sighs> Anyways, another tip for hand jobs is using lube, of course. Or if you don't have lube, you can always spit on the dick. This is blue job. No, it's this is hand I'm gonna job. tell you that, The I'm writer, dad, she said this is a blowjob. No, the, get the your writer partner. was tired. <laughs> they were like, "Look, we can't talk about sex anymore." She was like, "Oh, but what about this kind?" A That's hand a- job, bro. You you can give a hand job and just spit on the dick without putting your mouth there. I would only do that if he like refused to eat my pussy. I'd be like, oh, yeah? I'm dead. Okay. No, I got you, buddy. I'm you want to play with my clit? That's all you're going to get. Just like some dice, nigga. You- That's <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, fuck. Okay. Well, Chinese Kitty, give us a sex advice, uh, some, a sex tip that you have. Mm, I think that guys need to start realizing, like, we really like foreplay before just going straight. Just say his name at this that. point. Girl. Yeah. Just say his goddamn no, name. No, no, no. Oh, no. He, see, <laughs> in that department, it was it That's was why you put it up with it. That's why you're putting up with him. Okay, never mind. I didn't think it was him either. <laughs> nah, I'm dead. But. Okay, so foreplay. Yeah. If it's not eating pussy, what kind of foreplay do you enjoy? Mm. Making out, titty. Like, what do you like? Titties, neck. Me like. too. I feel like I haven't had someone kiss my neck in a minute. I ain't gonna hold yeah. you. I be kind of pushing away from my neck. Because I just feel like, like I'm 30. If you give me a hickey, now nah, I look childish. I like hickeys. You like hickeys? <laughs> I think it's kind of hot. Wait, what? I do. I Y'all like, like hickeys? hickeys? Word? I saw a random girl with a hickey on Melrose. And I remember I said to her, I was like, wow. And she laughed. I would it was be that like, big. It's like a scam. I would, no. Remember when I had that big ass hickey on my neck? <laughs> it was like... This big. I would say, sexy, wow, though. look at Gen Z. My I feel branded. Uh, <laughs> yeah, How long you did it feel branded. Like three days. <laughs> okay, that's not that sexy. Because you can cover it up if you had some. No, you can't you cover know, it up. Like, yeah, I mean, I got if a you nigga. have one man, but if you out here really... See, you know, that's having the problem why you don't like it. Cause I mean, no, I got one right now. But it's so I t- mean, I don't have one. Y'all don't know. It don't matter. I'm look dead. Well, whoever he is, have him do it and see how you feel. Girl, I be on camera. It's in, it's give, no, no, that's, wait, a, no, but that's cute. Like, it's a hickey is cute. Bitch, a little makeup. You get on camera to talk about how like, long you've been fucking, and you can't have the hickey. I don't know about a hickey. Do All it, right, you know what? We gonna say you lying until we see it. Talking about you had eight hours of sex. I did have eight hours of sex and didn't get a motherfucking hickey. First off, and it was eight rounds, eight and a half. Damn. I count how many times he comes. What's a half? A half was like it just. It was like oozing, but it didn't shoot. So it was like pre cum. Yeah, I felt like I felt like that was the it. I think it, the the balls were completely empty, and that's Are it, you g- serious? it gave a half. I swear to God, y'all yeah, was wilding. No, it was great. I I literally could not move for the rest. It of It looked the day. like a flat tire. Sounds like what a good did day. the balls? The no, the balls were very. They were really smooth. Like they were like. Keep going, man. Okay, sorry. What am I doing? Oh, um, no, we we asked hers. Um, so foreplay, what else? Outside of fucking hickeys and sucking neck, necks and titties. Like, are you, do you talk? What about feet? Oh, here we go. What, like sucking the toes? <laughs> oh, look. That, you, either or. Well, I'm not doing it. You not, you've never sucked a toe? No. So I'll tell you, the man that you with now, I'm not doing if it. you really love him, you got to suck the middle toe. Why? Well, I don't love him. <laughs> Why the middle? Because the big toe is like, okay, it's the big toe. The middle really shows that you love the person. Cause it's like the little baby toes. So y'all yeah. suck the niggas' toes before? Oh yeah, no. I'm sucking toes now. <laughs> but we see, <laughs> I sure did. We know which one is more advanced, bitch. Look what? at me. What? So Give me a dog. Suck a toe. <laughs> so what happened was, it really started when we went to Jamaica. I sucked like my homegirl's feet first. Mm. So I was like, okay, this ain't I hate bad. That I was it there. tastes like it tastes like your arm. It's fine. It tastes like any other part of your body. First of all, let's let's elaborate how this happened. <laughs> Mandy and I went to hedonism because we were booked. No, mo- was it Mocha Fest? No, it was hedonism. Just hedonism. I heard about that. It's, was, it's, it's crazy. Cute. It's cute. Well, the hotel we was at was not it. Okay, it had an exterior. There were it no is, interior it, it rooms, you which make- means when it rains, you're fucked. There was only buffets. And I mean, listen, I no room service. <laughs> you just didn't give a fuck. I was having a blast. Okay? So I'm in the pool with Mandy and our friends and my homeboy who came, and we have to be naked to be on this side of the resort. And so you 
fully naked. You have to. Oh, no, you have to. There's, no there's people that come around they have and prude say, and nude side. You have to undress or take your oh, ass. Do you remember somewhere. the day I oh, I almost lost it? I was so tired, just like exhausted. Went to go get a pizza because everything on the prude side was closed and only the nude side had restaurants open. Girl ordered the pizza, was waiting for it, and the man was like, "You can't have your clothes on." <laughs> I was like, I'm just trying to... I was naked the whole time. What the fuck? <laughs> so we get in the pool, back to the pool. And Mandy starts talking about something about toes. And all I see is her homegirl's foot in the chlorine. It come out of the water. Straight Mandy, out the chlorine. You know it was clean. Chlorine killed a lot of shit. I'm dead. What? I jumped out of that pool. I said goodnight. I said, oh, this is getting advanced. Because of... Okay. All because of a little And then wasn't it another foot. nigga sucking the feet too? Oh yeah, that was a nigga that loved my feet the whole weekend. He had my whole Period. foot in his mouth. Like, I was like, oh, he he put other things in his mouth. He fit <laughs> all five toes in his motherfucking but mouth. But here's why I had to go. I feel like once we get to the point where I say maybe at least 40 people were in the pool, and oh, now yeah. the only person I really know here got a foot in their mouth, maybe I need to leave. Um, dead. No. You look y'all funny. And luckily that TV had streaming. Well, <laughs> anywho, let's get into our horrible decision before we pull up out of here. So our horrible decision, I only felt it right because I think you lose it. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of uh, women also just want to know how to get there. We want to talk about sex appeal mm. for our horrible decision. So I found an article um, that talked about different ways to have sex appeal without being in the bedroom. So sex appeal when you walk into a room, yeah. sex appeal when you... Meet someone, um, and the first tip um, that they wrote was flirting boldly. Mm -hmm. um, and so I wanted to start by asking, do you flirt with guys, and how do you exude? Off the rip? Yeah. Um, like one I that know you how to be what, what, someone that I actually like. Someone that you're interested in. Oh, hell yeah. Like how what? You... I have a whole relationship and everything, and if it, there's somebody handsome, I'm going to still be like, yeah, so... <laughs> What happened? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just like something where you don't really have to do nothing, it's but hard you to give miss the off, opportunity. You give off that energy like I find you attractive. How you know do you saying? give that off? Oh, we're deep, we're oh digging deep God, now. I don't, I don't know. Um How do you tell someone I'm interested gotta, in you without saying I'm interested in you? When you have a conversation, you look in the eyes. Oh, like that was that's, one of, that's very like confirming. Like I'm not afraid of you. Like, I find ways to touch people. Yeah. Or With like consent, you'll be like, I hope, like a we we interviewed uh, Lisa Ann, and I remember how much she touched me. We were on the couch. Yeah. Just, like, constantly, like... Yes, ha that like, is a flirt. That is. Yeah. You, I always find ways to, like, touch you silently. Okay. I'm Okay. Dead. Without it's, without consent? It ain't like I'm touching a dick, girl. I mean... Or their pussy. Or, like, you ever, like, be having a conversation, and y'all laugh, and you'll be like, oh, my God, you so crazy. You know what? That's why a bitch nev better never... <laughs> Yeah, Kiki, but that's what it Kiki be. Ron, that's man. what, what it be. My, my ex, my, they trying no. to be funny, but are you okay with? Mean. Are you are y'all okay with that? Is that something because you know you no. do? If another no. woman is openly flirting with your partner, is that that's okay? That's what I'm gonna do. Karate now I know you style. you have threesomes, so do you have to give him the okay to flirt or? There's two things. There's girls that will flirt with him and look at me, knowing that like it's a thing. Okay. And there's them sneaky hoes. I don't do sneaky hoes. Yeah, I can't. Okay. Bitch, okay. I roll up and be like, so <laughs> I can't believe that my boyfriend <laughs> ain't tell you I was there, bitch. Girl. I had a situation like that the other night. I went to the club and it was this girl who I had prior ran into and she was like, you're so cute. We need to hang out, whatever, whatever. Cool. I go to the club with my man and... She comes up to me, oh, my God, how you been? This and the third. I'm like, I'm good, girl. So she sees me and my man, like, just, like, you know, hugged up, chilling. He's making me a drink. She literally looks me in my eyes and goes, so who's this? I'm like, my man. She's like, are y'all, like, serious? Oh, no, not the are y'all serious. I said, yeah, this has been my man for two years. Oh, wow, that's cute. But I could tell, like, even when she was, oh, like, nah, hands gotta dancing, be thrown. like, it was very dancing in, like, a way she wanted to be noticed. Like, did they did they know each other? No. I don't understand did, why. No. No. Nah. Honestly, like, I don't think it's disrespectful at all. But the only thing that I make sure I do when I see a homegirl with a dude that I haven't met yet, I always introduce myself. Yeah. If they don't do it. Like, if we if we had just said, hey, I'm like, hey, I'm Chinese kitty's friend. Whatever. Like, I, just, yeah. I always do that. I think it's rude when people don't do that. Look, 
What happened? She dead? <laughs> the dog is not dead, bro. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> but um, I think that if we I, don't acknowledge other people in the room, like that's a telltale sign. And honestly, I've had a really good thing with the partners I've dated where they always introduce me and I do the same for them. I don't even give a fuck if it's like embarrassing, um, if it's an ex, if it's a nigga down the street that just waves. I'll be like, this is my nigga. And this used to be my nigga. And I'm in the, I'm in the lifestyle now. So like a lot of uh, when, when couples come around, like it's very, very interesting to see like how everyone acknowledges everyone. So the men all acknowledge the men first, then acknowledge the man. And even in the introductions, they'll say, this is my wife, this is my partner. This is mm -hmm. like, the, it's very clear when it's a lot of couples. So I, I really uh, like that. Before we get into sex appeal in the bedroom, one of the other tips that I find so important is to speak clearly. Mm -hmm. And this goes to men and women. Ain't nothing worse than if you finally get the confidence to kind of spit your game at someone and they're like huh mm -hmm. what and that? now you just like fuck now bitch you only had one time i now now i feel like you playing with me especially like in the club mm -hmm. or at a at a gathering where it might be a little loud mm -hmm. if you're gonna flirt make sure to speak clearly and loudly enough for them to hear you the first time yeah y'all agree with that Facts. i think the other thing too <clears throat> i don't like when men send their homeboy to talk to me nah, mm -mm. No, I've definitely oh, done that when I was don't younger. Like that? I did that shit years no. ago. Like, oh, go tell him I think that's cute. Now I don't like it. You don't like that either? You better be on no, the court, that nigga. Just you better to me be. The other night, somebody sent their assistant and was like, oh, he wants you to come over here. I was like, where oh, was no. he? Oh, yeah, nah. Huh? Like, was he in the club? He was, nah. he was in proximity he, to speak to you. He, exactly. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. In the club. Not. And he sent his friend to come walk over to me and tell and me tell to go walk. And tell you to walk go walk over to him? Absolutely oh, not. Hell. I don't care. I don't know who you are. I can't believe men still do that. Cause with niggas, niggas with status, they yeah, but I don't, like, I don't be in the club. Yeah, well, I, don't, I, don't I, I could only see that if it's married. No, the if status has, has to be really high up there to where you really can't be walking around without like security or some shit like that. But yeah, like, but you're not just talking to a random girl. That's fair. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you came and talked to me, everybody would kind of figure out, like, oh, all right, they having a conversation. Do you like, think th there? I guess another thing on the back end. Do you think that he didn't want to come up to you because people both know you? Yeah, for sure. I so, know that's what it was. So is that bad? It is. Maybe he's trying to be respectful. If you're, if you're gonna hide, if you're trying to hide in the beginning, then what's the point of me even? Of you to coming you? all the way because over? Because now, if we really start fucking, you really gonna be hiding shit. You get what I'm saying? So that's fair. I did have a nigga tell me once. I took him to this party, a regular nine to five nigga, and I'm always like doing something with him. He was like, "Oh, I don't want you to your shit to be hot." I said, nigga, if I'm dancing on you, my shit ain't hot. I brought you to a fucking space where everybody knows me, so my shit is clearly already hot. Yeah. So if I'm dancing with the nigga I came with, like, what the fuck is your bro? I was so <laughs> mad. I left. He got a girl. Oh. It was a fucking, uh, like, a Duce Palooza type of party type of thing. Something mm -hmm. like that, like, everyday people. But I was pissed. I don't want to make your shit hot. Bitch, you next to me. How the fuck is that? Ain't, like, kind of situation. Probably. Girl, you might, a like, am I sucking dick at the club? I mean, I am when I go. <laughs> but I, go to sex, I go to sex What's club. your sign? I, I'm a Libra. Girl, oh, okay. ho ain't in okay. the... Okay, I know, I know a crazy don't, Libra. A crazy know Libra? A crazy Libra. Not, Maybe oh, she so got you're a... the stars and moons. Okay. What no. is she on a Chinese calendar? Because that's what... Don't Joseph, do that. I, I actually know. am a... Girl. A lion or something like that. I think so. Watch it be something completely different. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm a it's lion. It's giving year to rap, bitch. <laughs> oh, you know what I am? I think I'm a rabbit. How you go from a lion to a rabbit? <laughs> nah. You should be hopping to bed. Let me say, I do. I'm a little jackrabbit, bitch. All right. Oh, so, wait, quick what, question. Go ahead. As far as outside of the bedroom, sex appeal, what do you think is something besides your look that makes you sexy to people? Mm. <sighs> I don't know. You're like, well, looking. Y'all got to tell me. I don't know. Besides, I think your voice. Yeah. Your really? Cool. Mm -hmm. I think I you have like a real cutesy, like girly voice. Yeah, it's mad high pitch. I hate yeah, it. but also like it's not like uh, you could have a girly voice that's kind of that isn't dominant. Cause see, yeah, like yummy, your voice. yummy from Jocelyn's Cabaret. Oh, her voice. <laughs> Do you was watch it? Awful. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. Girl, it's crazy. I ain't gonna hold you. Uh, the reunion just started, and we did a whole cinema. That on was it. one of the worst I'm things I've ever seen. I'm actually so mad do. that I've spent so much time invested into the show because the 
the reunion, the first part at least, was just so bad. The way she talked to the girls was awful. Oh. Lunell came in and completely dismissed the women and was like, well, y'all just need to let Jocelyn talk hoes. because y'all are just strippers, hoes, and prostitutes no. anyway. And it was just giving that's what it wasn't, especially for Jocelyn. And we actually just talked Bitch, about ain't this. Jocelyn a stripper, hoe, and prostitute? She is, but that's what I'm saying, too. And the way that she tried to come even for Wendy on just uplifting and how to speak to black women, the way she treated all those black women on the stage, minus Lexi Blow and the other white girl, it was just like... It was fucking. It, crazy. it was really fucked up. The I show was, just like, was good. Though. The show was good, and then the reunion was like, I'm kind of mad that I gave it that much time. Mm -hmm. I, per, honestly, I I don't like one. What is the show's purpose? So Jocelyn, she's a reality star, right? I mean, I know she. I don't. I'm, I, that's rude to say. I was gonna say wants to be a rapper. That's not fair. I mean, I wants to be an entertainer. She is she an entertainer. Is. Mm -hmm. So do it like it's my be dead, okay. baby. It's <laughs> Let me tell you one thing oh, she did right. Oh, the show's purpose crazy. is to start her cabaret. She's supposed to be like ep uh, elevating strippers, hoes, and prostitutes. Because this is what pissed me off. Is, yeah. There's a white girl on the show who be talking about, she said <laughs> flat out, Jocelyn, you know I don't dance. I'm a hoe. Like, I got tricked. Oh, wow. And, oh, yeah, no, it's she super... and Jocelyn are the only ones that knew each other outside of the show. Because y'all was probably tricking together, which whatever. Now, she book cool. a couple of them outside the show. But you remember, she was saying, we're friends, we're friends. Oh, she kept yeah, saying that. they definitely was... Uh... But I think the worst part about what we all saw is, like, when you have someone that's been in the game so long, bring some girls together, like, it's supposed to be fun. And, and like, we all know it's a ratchet-ass show, but then to get up there on your soapbox and tell them, I've been in this motherfucker this long, and fuck you, bitches. I was like, girl. Herself, she said she'd been in it for... Ten, 10 centuries. 10 decades. 10 decades. <laughs> said, I've been oh, in this wow. bitch 10 decades. <laughs> and you bitches, this bitches ain't shit. That's oh, you she, sound like her. Right. <laughs> well, that's what she said. Yeah, it was, it, it wasn't, especially for us having a sex positive platform. We've had a lot of sex workers on here. And a lot of them, you could tell, were wanting to just be in a better space. Mm -hmm. And apparently, old girl ain't never get her $10,000 child, but that's a, that's another teacher. Not the prize not, money. Not, not the prize coming. money not being handed out, child. But see, it, even when the girl won, she said, you know, you came in here, and she, what did she say? She said, at first, you was a drunk, <laughs> and you had a pot belly. You was a pot belly hoe. She called her a pot belly hoe. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. <laughs> no, so it, it just, it just to me, uh, for, for us to know where Jocelyn has come from and her still doing exactly, to me, what we've known her to do, she really talked to them, the women. like Not And Lunell lost a fan in me. Like It was just really like, you're really treating these women like they're scums in the bottom Would of the Would you earth. do like, um, a reality show where you like had to host and make girls like just like you? Like make them... That would be, that'd be that cute. That would be, be cute. so dope. That would be so much fun. Do you enjoy Love & Hip Hop? <laughs> Okay, it's giving. Gotcha. Next question. I, do we know uh, anyone that does? I was about to say, I don't think any of my friends has been on there like it. Like, at all. But it you sucks know, because it's like, no, we're going to yeah, talk no. about it. Right. Like, it really does. <laughs> like, not talking specifics, but I mean, specifics to people, but like, we know so many people because of that show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it either makes them look like shit or they got a bad experience and like, I, there's one thing about loving hip hop that I don't like, and I feel like there's this translation where white people that watch or everyone else just thinks yeah. like we're a fucking mess or like birds, mm. and it just really is shitty when you have real musicians that come on there, right. business women, entrepreneurs. Like, there's not really someone on loving hip hop that I've seen that's just like someone who's not trying. Mm -hmm. Even if you're not big at what you do yet, you're trying, right? Yeah. That was the whole point of it, trying to make it. And it's like... Nah, it was love and hip-hop. That's how it was supposed to start. I'm talking about the women that come <laughs> on there. people as, really trying you know, now. <laughs> well, I mean, the, there, a lot of the women that come on there do be trying to make their fucking music. And even if yeah. they're not going to be Cardi B, like, at least give them girls their flowers. Like, fuck. Yeah. Who knows who's going to be next and be that huge? I think whoever, like you know, writes the script, like, they want the straight drama out of it. So that's how they narrate it. That's how they're going to film it. That's how... Well, even you saying be. that, I think that's the misconception, too. Like, it really is not reality. It's scripted. Producers set up a lot of scenarios. A lot and of then about it. Everything is set up. And then the, the worst part is, like, I just saw Safari posted... Him yeah. and his girl had an hour-long conversation, and they only filmed the baby. That happened to me and my mom. Me and my mom literally had an hour conversation of us trying to, you know, work on our differences or whatever. And they literally just filmed the part where we was like, girl, we went and did this. We did that happen. And literally showed two minutes of that and took the worst part of the conversation and made, and made that, the... that the part. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what that King Magazine is... used to do. 
You remember like them, the girls when they was posing, looking all beautiful, and they literally put, yeah, one time I shit it on the sheets during anal sex, and they would make that like the big headline on the paper. <laughs> oh, like, wow. No, they literally, King Click Magazine bait. used to take some of like the craziest things from an interview and make it the big quote on top of the picture. That's dope that's that you crazy. had I, your mom on there with you to have a conversation like that. Yeah. I know, like, And that's important. I would be livid if yeah, that was my mom. No, but it like, don't matter if they whatever, show but... the worst part of the conversation. No, I'm saying I would be livid if... I but brought my mom do. to do something intimate. Yeah. That's what they do. All right. Well, Chinese Kitty, help us with our home mail before we get out of here. Um, this comes from someone who is really trying to understand how they can initiate something they kind of really don't want to do. So, mm. help. A dude that I fuck with is really into water sports. Oh, now, my God. Do you know what water sports is, Chinese Kitty? Take a guess. Take a I, guess. I'm guessing this is not anything to do with real activity. <laughs> <laughs> it, no, it's a real activity. It's a real activity. For do, sex. Yeah, so what would you no, think water sports is? is. <laughs> you probably do this every day. <laughs> <laughs> do you, <laughs> what is water sports, girl? I don't know. It sounds it, scary. You, yes. yes. You know what a golden oh, shower is. Yes. Well, that's completely different from a water sport. No, no, it, no it is. But that's that thing, thing in sport. That's, that's, the, that's the name of golden showers. <laughs> wow. Okay. I water sports in the new. bedroom. Have okay. you ever done one? No. Would no. you? Would you? From who? The man on me? But either one. Would you piss on a man or would you let a man pee on you? I'm not pissing on a man. No? Really? You'd rather have the opposite? You'd rather have a man pee on you? It's hot, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Like the temperature? I'd rather not. The, the temperature. No. You, what about no? no I what about no? no? You could. You just don't want neither. Yeah, I don't. It's an either I, or, I girl. I don't want no, no pee on me, off me. Okay. But if you had to pick, it's him. Yeah, he got it. Okay. I feel no, like if I had to pick, I want him to pee on me. Oh, you weird? nasty girl. Mm. I, don't know. I don't know. I feel like I've never done it, but if I, I just had to pick, can't it'd be the opposite. See me like peeing on my man. I would laugh at myself. It, I like, mean, it really takes a while. Happening it right now. It takes like, a while. I could do it like if I was in the shower. Yeah, you got to go from the toilet, then you have to focus. Okay, tell us pee. about your experience. Oh, no, go girl, ahead. I shared it on this show a lot of times. We getting back girl, to the Girl, but she in here. Go ahead. Tell your pee pee well, story. No, no, I just shared it, girl, because, you know, I, I and I've done it more often uh, recently. So, so basically, gonna, he made her mix the pee very with, freaky. with the I mean, rock. I'll never forget Oh, this. yeah, no, that was the first what? time. What? And do what? The first, no, but that, that, was was that was squirting. That wasn't peeing. He wanted me to squirt in a cup so he could mix it with Ciroc and drink it. That wasn't peeing in a cup. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> oh that was my different. God. Anyway, what was the pee one? The pee one was I couldn't pee, so I had to run to the sh to the toilet, then focus, and then it started the coming out. Then I had to hold it and do? run back to the shower. Y'all should definitely get married because I don't think you're going to Oh, no, this, this was someone else. else. This wasn't him. <laughs> this was someone else. Oh. These are two different guys. You know oh, what? <laughs> what I've realized. Where are you finding them? I need to find oh, them. Oh, they find me. Yeah, they find me, Oh, wow. Child. So you know what? I'll be doing this in a row. Make sure uh, the room. No, I'm just kidding. No, literally. Okay, let's get back to the home now real quick. Um, now she says, I have pissed on guys before, but never been pissed on. Mm -hmm. This is his biggest kink that he never gets to act out due to his partners being truly vanilla. I told him I was cool with it, but he knows it's not my thing, so I didn't want to try. However, he is flying me out, and I want to initiate it. My question is, how do I react? Do I moan? Do I rub it in? I want him to be comfortable and don't want to come off awkward or over pornish. So I was like, let me ask over you. Over pornish? Over pornish. And she before said, do I rub it in? And porn. she said, do I rub it in? So, but she also wants to initiate it, knowing that this is something he's brought to her many times. Well, you are a nice person. I think that's very nice. I do too. Like, I think it's very nice. That is. Okay. Well, Mandy, <laughs> since we have nothing to add, what should she do? I mean, rubbing it in is a lot. I think let him take the lead because, like, I've been with, like, I had one guy where I was just peeing on his chest and he scooted down. So I know he wanted it to splash on his face. So let him lead. I say just ask him where he wants you to piss first. <laughs> That's the first part. Like, definitely. I need to remember what innocence is like. <laughs> Girl, because when you pee pee, what? we do it on the party. <laughs> I need you to take me a lot of things, you know, girl. You literally calling you on the side. You, crazy. Just, you know, make sure you ask where wow. you can do it. Do it in the shower. Don't do it on the bed. Um, I'm looking at your yellow dress. Thinking about pee. 
Yeah, I oh mean, and, and this is no judgment. Okay, I, so so here, here's my thing. Let me ask y'all off of water, water sports before we get out. If you have a partner and you know they're into something that eh, you're, you know you're really not into it, but maybe it's a special occasion and now you want to initiate the thing that you're not really into. Mm -hmm. How do you go about doing that? And do you do it? Are y'all people, uh, are, are both of you guys partners that will do something even though you're not really into it, but you know your partner is? If it's spe if it's like a special thing, like you know, like if he like a birthday, or like he like just worked day? hard, or just you know, something. he can get it as now he worked hard. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Like, Your lips you know, look like, like you know, they were made. You see a man overly working, getting shit done, paying the bills, this and the third. Like you know, you like I just want to. And here I go. Nice. I was thinking That's nice. hard work. Yeah, like you know. <laughs> Something you know what the cables on Bennett ass over. That's what I'm saying. Like that's <laughs> what 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 would be something that that you would have to do only on a special occasion, Chinese kitty. Um, suck maybe the suck toe. the toe. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> maybe eat the ass. But you've maybe eaten ass before. Be peed on. I don't know, huh? You've eaten ass before. If you ate the gooch, you ate the ass. I'm just saying. I love when people don't answer because you don't know answer because that's the answer. So you fucking that nigga? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Is I your know. hair pink? I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Is the sky blue? Bitch? All right. Well, Chinese kitty, here's something I know you can tell. Tell us where we can find you, where we can listen to you if you have any new music yes. coming out. Go ahead and give us the spill, hunty. I'm on Instagram at Chinese Kitty, and my music is streaming on all music platforms. Type it in. I think, is, do you have a new video or something? I feel like. Yes, I, just, I do on YouTube. Lit Bitches Out featuring Fr French Montana and Fabio Forum, period. Ooh, okay. Lit Bitch. Come on, talk your shit. Hey, hey. <laughs> All right, well, before we get out of here, guys, you know that we have our Patreon with bonus content. So if y'all do actually want to know where I stand in a relationship, I tell it on there. Um, and then we go through kind of our lifestyle woes with Wheezy having a boyfriend and a side nigga and another side nigga. Oh, and, what? Wow. We talk about it there. Oh, wait, we don't. I'm lying, I think. No? Who Bitch. said they on the side? Okay, never mind. Oh, they're not on the Oh, never mind. She said they're not I'm on like the side. I'm like entrees. <laughs> I'm dead. So you just eating chicken steak and a lobster? Sometimes I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, make sure y'all go on over to patreon.com backslash horrible decisions. Shout out to the Black Effect. Go ahead and listen to all their pies. That's where we at. We on the Black Effect Network. And again, we're leaving you guys with a five-minute bonus clip. Um, also, if you are on Patreon, that's where you can get these mugs. And make sure y'all know I have my own female products so go on over to officialboxowner.com i have apple cider vinegar gummies and bork acid suppositories to keep that ph balanced baby all right and we out of here this has been yet another episode of horrible decisions bye bye y'all